start recording. Do, 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 do. It has been so long since I have done one of these. We might just be me tonight. <laughs> That's all right. It was just me the first couple of nights. So, okay. I have my paints. I have my brushes. I have water. I have beer. Uh, I have a book. You're here. I'm here. Kids are running around. I don't know. The girl two is out in the neighborhood somewhere. Boy two is out in the backyard with the of Chantiel La Fontaine. Girl one is sitting on the couch. He's eating Doritos, and my beautiful young bride has gone off into town to get stuff for Philly cheesesteaks to make for dinner. And that sounds awesome. So, uh, I'm going to paint for a little bit. And I thought, you know what? I'll just turn the cameras on since I haven't done it in so long. I mean, last week was uh, Memorial Day, so we, we were out doing stuff, and I completely forgot that it was it was Monday. The week before that was my beautiful young bride's birthday, and so, you know, she miraculously failed to age yet again. I had no idea how she manages to, to stay so miraculously young. But uh, uh, take your headphones off. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of The Artistic Biker Live. I am recording this live on Ustream. You should still be able to go to artisticbiker.com slash Ustream. That's the letter U, stream. Uh, on Monday nights now and instead of Thursday nights. And, you know, really there's no reason. Maybe I'll move back to Thursdays. I don't know. Right now I'm, I'm kind of happy doing it on Mondays, though. So on Monday nights, usually around 6, 6.30, I turn the cameras on. This week, last, let's see. Last week, let's see if any of the cameras are still aimed at the book. Last week, or rather last show, we did this, uh, we did this uh, chicken. We did this rooster. We did use some watercolors. We used some spray paints. Uh, we used my brush pen, and we had some fun making this uh, making this rooster. You can find this in in the uh, the last episode we did, uh, along with the material guide on how, and uh, uh, how, where to get the materials that we used to do it. This week, however, I thought we would have some fun with some spray paint spray paint clouds. I've been practicing with some spray paint clouds, and so I thought we'd play with those a little bit. So I'm just going to turn the page and to get started. Whee! So yeah, it's been uh, it's been a fun couple of weeks down here. I gotta tell you, my uh, my my beautiful daughter, girl one, has been has been down here now for a couple of weeks, and we've had her and the grandbaby to play with. The kids love playing with the grandbaby. I love playing with the grandbaby. We've been having quite a good time, and it's real easy to forget to do anything else. I don't have a spray bottle, do I? No, my spray bottle's in the house. I may have to stop and go get my spray bottle just to be able to make this spread all over the page. I don't know. We'll see what we can do. This is the only part I think I need the spray bottle for. We're not going to use watercolors near as I can tell tonight. So maybe we can get by with just dipping the brush in the in the mixing water. Usually, usually I'll get a little uh, primer on the page, and then I'll use the spray bottle to lubricate the page so that the primer spreads the rest of the way out, thin it out a little bit make it glide better across the paper. So I t but I took last week off not just from the show but from my day job because it was Monday was Memorial Day and because I've been with the company for 15 years my day job I have four weeks of vacation to use up in a year and sometimes that's really hard to do. <laughs> especially when the year is already a quarter over now granted I used some of it up when my teeth broke out earlier this year that that made a difference so when my teeth broke out I spent some time 
took some took some vacation time and then uh, oh, right here I'll show you real quick what I've got going on over here let's see which camera that is I've got this little fan and heat lamp set up over here to dry this so that I can so that I can talk to you without having a hairdryer going on so anyway when my when my teeth broke out I had to I had to take a, I had to take a, a week's vacation uh, while I dealt with that and then last week I took a week's vacation so yeah we're six months into the year and I've taken two weeks and I and I still have two weeks of vacation less so I'll probably take another week in September and then I'll take the the week after Christmas off what I want to do tonight is I'm, I'm going to uh, I made this little sample up here I'm going to spray paint some clouds and a little little sun background a little silhouette trees kind of inspired by cinnamon cooney Cinnamon Cooney did a little silhouette tree thing, and then uh, uh, Sketch Artist does a lot of spray painting tutorials on YouTube, and he did the he did the cloud tutorial, and I wanted to try it. And then when I when I tried it, I thought, well, this is really cool. I'll just show I'll just show you guys how it works too. And it's a it's a pretty it's a pretty simple technique, but uh, I am going to have to hit this with just a little bit of hair dryer, but it won't take near as much now. Uh oh, here comes somebody. That's the boy. Hello? Say hello, boy. Are you yeah, we're doing a show, but there's nobody here. It's me and me. I don't know what you're saying. We're not we're not gonna do that. What are you doing for what are you doing for your summer break? You're doing what? I might paint ghost women, go to the museum with you. Yeah. Oh, and also go swimming with you. Go swimming, go to the museum, and go paint. And uh, do fun stuff with you. Fun stuff. I have to work. You and your sister and mother are the only ones on vacation. I have something to ask. I have to work. Make sure it's internet friendly because here's the internet. Do you know where my wolf pup is? No, I don't have a clue. With the rope, the other rope I don't, there? No, I don't. I don't have a clue. Okay. Okay, I love you. Bye. Bye. So, I have this can to, to, to kind of make a the, the silhouette with. And I probably should use something bigger because this is a bigger page than what I did well ago. But quite honestly, I don't, I don't, I just don't have anything handy. I have a frisbee. I don't really want to use a frisbee. That's too big. So we'll just use this because that's what I was planning on using anyway. So I want to take that and I want to kind of mark on my page. I have. I want you to see. I don't know if you can see. Do you see the light coming through there? I have the door open, and I have this fan blowing on me this way and then I have this fan up here you can't see that fan where, where can we uh, you can't see that fan at all yeah nope you can't see it I have a fan up over there blowing also so I have lots of ventilation in here don't don't do this without ventilation I should be wearing a mask but uh, where my mask is, is is anybody's guess so Everybody put your mask on. We're gonna make sure we're wearing, we're wearing a mask. And I'm just gonna mark where this can is, where I want this can, so that when it comes time to put it back, I can really put it back. That's that's all I was doing there. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of white paint, just a little bit of white paint, and I'm gonna put some daubs, a uh, little bit of little bit of daubs of white acrylic, not much. Good Lord, not not a lot. Just just little daubs of white acrylic. That's probably plenty. Okay. And then I'm gonna get some yellow paint. <laughs> you could do this with spray ink. You could do this with. I don't know, you probably do get away with doing it with poncers. 
I don't have any poncers, pouncers, poncers. But I do have spray paint. So I want to make sure I get it all the way around the edge with the spray paint. This is one thing I don't like about Kryolan is they have that fan tip that makes it spray this way instead of spraying in a circle. And it takes a lot of practice and I don't have the I don't have the patience to go get the new the different tips. But I love Krylon paint. I just don't like having to deal with the fan tip. So I may have to break down and change brands because of that fan tip. I like Rust-Oleum, but Rust-Oleum clogs up the tip so fast that you can't really you can't really enjoy it more than once. So here's why we did the white blobs of paint. Didn't have to, but that's why we did. Okay. I have some dark blue and some white. I'm going to spray together. It's not really imperative to cover the yellow paint as much as it is to make sure that you have sky colors going on out there because now I'm going to spray the can around this I'm going to just going to touch down I'm going to spray the can around this to get some of that yellow paint to fan out from there I'm going to do the same thing with the white like that and then I'm going to set that aside for a second. I've got an old sketchbook here. And I'm going to sketch in some clouds like this. Just like that. And get some skizzers. Where's my skizzers? There's some skizzers. Cut that off. Cut that off. I'm not, I'm not going to be too terribly particular about this. This isn't exactly what I would call fussy cutting. The main reason I, I did that is because, that with the pen first, is because when you just freehand it with the scissors, you'll find yourself wanting to follow a specific pattern. And it's real easy to make the same patterns twice. And so your clouds don't get a lot of diversity. Keep that because that's going to come in handy. And that's, your, that's what you ultimately wanted for your cloud. And then I'm going to fold that like that so that I have something to hold it by.
Again, you could do this with spray inks. Once you get the clouds cut out, you'll see what we're going to do. You could do this with spray inks. You could do this with poncers, with anything that's... Um, imagine you'll want to use transparent paint and then... I'm sorry, opaque paint and then transparent on top of it. That's not what we're going to do. But if you're going to do it by hand, instead of using spray paint, okay. which way did this go? This went that way. So let's make this one go this way. So we have those. I also have the ones that I made earlier. So I actually have four different sets of the ones that I made earlier. Plus I have the cutouts from both sets. Except I didn't cut the strings off of that one. And so what we can do now. Dun, dun, dun. We can take this same book here, and we can take our clouds that we made, let's take Let's do that. Now let's take the white. Want to make sure you don't have this. See this straight edge right there? Whatever you do, you want to make sure you don't have that. Can't talk, Harding. Wrong color. It's important that you use the right colors too. See, what I didn't do well ago is I didn't I didn't add any rays. Let's see what happens if we add some rays. that alone. Anyway, you can see that that can be really, really fun. That's, that orange is just not bright enough for that though, is it? I don't know. I don't know that I want to fix it like that. Though. So let's... Uh, Let's move on to the base of it. How are we doing on time? Oh, good lord, it's only it's only 7 o'clock. We're good. We're, we have plenty of time.
let's just follow this this cloud here for this hillside like that and let's get a fat brush to fill it in faster I know we're not we're not really brush shaming by calling it a fat brush. I'm not trying to hurt the brush's feelings. I started a vigorous another vigorous weight loss program. It's pretty amazing. Where you set the alarm for four o'clock in the morning and you get up and you go make coffee and then about six o'clock in the morning you wake up realizing you have ten minutes to get out of the house and so you run and dash through the house like a madman it's amazing how what that'll do for your heart rate. My heart rate. I mean, it may not do anything for your heart rate, but it does a lot for my heart rate. Essence of tree. That's what this is. That my goodness, that was really loud, wasn't it? Essence. This is just essence of tree, if you will. We just want the hint of tree here. Wow, <laughs> thank It's all over the studio. Might want a little. I don't know. I don't know if we want really clean lines. Sometimes I wonder if I want clean lines or if I want adversity. I'm not real sure what I want sometimes. I think today I want something in between. Okay. I'm going to come back with my white just a little bit. Tonight's show is going to be short. There's just not very many of us tonight since it's just me. There's no easels to mess with. There's no... people in the chat room asking questions. pretty quick I think maybe we want some details on the hillside I see I struggle I don't I'm never really sure if I want what I what I want to do. If I want it nice and clean, or if I want I'll tell you what I think I want there. I think I want to take the white, and I 
think that I want to come off of that like that and come off of that like that and I think I want to take that and just I don't know. Hello, Anonymous. And you're gone. I kind of like that. It's a Thala. Hey, Thala. Can't talk, Harding. How you been? You've been away for a while. How have you been? Talk, Harding. I don't know if that was a good idea or not. I think it doled up everything around that sun just right. Yeah, I don't know if anything. I don't know if, if if there's something wrong with the chat, or if there's just nobody here tonight. I don't know. But I'm glad to see you. going to be a pretty quick show. Things went really quick tonight. I don't know if that's helping or not. I can't tell. Can you tell? Of course, I don't know if there's anything really wrong with it. I think probably a little more color could have been laid down to begin with.
think I think I probably would have probably should have just laid down a little more color to be, to begin with. Well, thank you, Zola. We are about done. Finished. I think. I think the proper way to say that is finished. We're about finished. My problem is, is that I don't have any really bright colored paints. I'm going to have to get break down and get some really bright colored paints. My yellows are not opaque. And my whites are dull. And if that's not the opening line to a country music song, I don't know what is. I'm done. I'm not going to mess with that anymore. Everyone in my world is doing great. You missed it earlier. I was telling that uh, my daughter, Girl One, and my granddaughter, Unique with Chantiel LaFontaine, are down visiting and considering moving they haven't decided yet whether or not they're going to move down here they haven't they haven't decided whether or not they're going to move down here they've been down here a month already they, but they haven't decided whether or not they're going to stay but ooh, that's a bright light now look how bright that sun looks now <laughs> I wish I could make it Illuminate like that all the time. But ooh, where's my thing? There's my thing. So yeah, they've been down here visiting for uh, for about a about a month now, and she's she hasn't really decided if she's going to stay or not. And you know, it's up to her. She's She's young. She saved up the money to take the time off. So she's got some money. She's got some time off. She has a, a skill that easily transfers to Texas. So if she decides she wants to come down here and live, she's she's got everything she needs to, to make it happen. I am going to break out my ink brush because I love my ink brush. I'm going to darken some things here. I know I'm, I'm cheating. I'm jumping in with the black and I I know you're not supposed to do that. I just, you know, I love my I love my uh Ink, my ink brush. I love my brush pen. <laughs> I think that might have helped just a little bit. Just to give it some gravitas, if you will. Yeah, it's great to have spent some time with her. And it's nice having have it's nice having a place like this where she can come hang out for this for some time, for any for a length of time like this, while she while she figures out what's going on. Next month, July, uh, Bill Flowers.
Bill Flowers is coming to stay for a couple of days. We're going to go paint snakes and have some fun with that. Haven't quite, I, I don't have an actual date yet, but <laughs> I don't have an actual date set out yet, but he's going to be here next month. I don't know. Let's critique this real quick. Let's figure out what I could have done. Let's figure out what I could have done differently to make this to make this more brilliant. Uh, I could have used brighter colors on the sun. I could have subdued the sky more. And I still can. I can darken the sky in with some blue. Some reds down here. Hit the edges with some black. That'll make that brighter. I don't know. I don't know that I was in for all of that. I really just wanted to play with the clouds to see. But, but yeah, but we're not going to have any live snakes on the show. My beautiful young bride comes walking out here with top off face. Look at it. Sure. You can't see it. Hi, peoples. It's, mm -hmm. it's a dollar mine. Hmm? It's a dollar mine. Mm -hmm. All the way up from Canada. Oh, Canada. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo. I'm cooking. Sorry. Okay, I'll let you go. You want me to make yours later? I, I'm not hungry, babe. Okay. Thank you, though. What should we say about this? It needs some kind of tree quote, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do anything else. I don't think I'm going to do anything else to it. As I do something else to it. <laughs> Have these blobs here I think I should do something about. Somehow. Somehow I got blobby with the paint. It happens, I guess. Alright. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do anything else to it. Figure out something to write about trees. Yeah, we're not going to have we're not going to have actual snakes on the show except for, you know, me and Bill. Jennifer's going to be here too. Hopefully by then I have this whole place cleaned up behind me. So that there's room for all of us out here. I'll tell you though, lately, I've really been struggling because I have these ideas on where I want to go and what I want to do next. And most of it is on hold because I still have this book to finish.
And you know what? Maybe you guys can help me out with that. I have... Let's see what I wrote? <laughs> Write something about trees. Because <laughs> I'm philosophical that way. Look at this. I'm going to show you this. Watch out. This is going to get really bright. Look at how much nicer it looks with that spotlight right there where the sun's supposed to be. <laughs> I need to learn... I need to learn how to paint luminescent like that. <laughs> yeah. But I have I have ideas of what I want to do, where I want to go. But I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven spreads in this book. <laughs> and and it and this and this book is driving me nuts because I'm so I'm so ready to move on to something else. I bought, for instance, I bought I got these on I got these used textbooks, uh, exploring visual design, and I have. Uh, the, the visual experience and what else did I buy I, I got all these used textbooks that are, that are awesome they have all kinds of really cool uh, all kinds of really cool lessons in them that I want to go through art course step by step these are middle school, high school and college level uh Uh, textbooks, and there's more. I'm trying to figure out where I've where I've stashed them, as I've shoved them out of the way to make sure I don't get paint on them. But they're they're middle school, high school, and college level textbooks, and I'm, I have about I have about a hundred or so lessons that that I want that I want to I want to work through, and I want to work through them with you guys. And the, you know, but it starts with a new book. That's, and that's in September. Or I could just figure out where it would fall in the year and just jump in right there, right there. But I don't know. I thought I has an idea for me. I hear you. So many ideas, so many things, so many projects in progress, and many more in my head that I want to do. But she has an idea. Let's hear it, Thala. I don't know. You can't read that when I do that, so there's really no point in doing that, is there? Wonder what happens. How about you make a tunnel book type thing with the remaining pages? Well, do you remember what I did? Uh, do Do you remember what I did? Was it last year or the year before last when I got down to the end of the book and it was uh, it was the last week of August and I still had three or four spreads left and and. And I always make a new book at the beginning of September after more after uh, Labor Day. I always make a new book so that the uh, the first real spread is, you know, Halloweeny. <laughs> and, and well, it's not it's not necessarily the the first the first spread, uh, but you know the first spread's probably fall. You can't see that. I'm on the wrong camera. The first the first spread is fall. But then we, you know, but then we get to the Halloweeny stuff, and I always look forward to the Halloweeny stuff. Ooh, I gotta fix that. Oh, I gotta wax my pages. Oh, I gotta wax the pages. The Houston humidity has got my pages sticking together. But anyway, so I always make I always make a new book in September so that I can so the 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 first few pages are Halloween. Um, so I hold off for that. I, what I've really thought about doing, but anyway, last year back to my story last year I started gluing pages together I was like well you know we really need the paper to be thicker and so I just started gluing pages together so every one spread was two pages <laughs> three pages you know and I could do that and, and knock it out in just a couple of knock it out in just a couple of spreads <laughs> or you know 
take a razor blade, cut the pages out, or just leave them and come back to this book when I have ideas for this book. When I want to, when I want to come back and have an idea for this book. Oh yeah, yeah yeah. This uh, where did I make? Did I make this book in Houston? Because I was here. Yeah, I made this book in Houston, didn't I? No. I made this. I painted this cover in uh, Tennessee. I was in Tennessee when I painted this cover in a hotel room. But then. But that was still 2015. I really should date these. I bought a stamp just so I could date these, and I never dated a one of them. See, here's me talking about moving my family down to, to Texas and my wife having nightmares about my kids growing up to be uh, University of Texas sports fans, which is kind of a big deal. Yeah, I need to warm this up. Yeah, I know I did this one in my apartment in Houston. So I was living in Houston. By, by this time, I was a full-time Houston resident. So the whole this whole book was done here in Houston. I know I was a full-time resident in Houston here. But I don't think I took this job until, until the first week of October. So I may not have been a full-time resident here. But everything else happened. Yeah, because here's me criticizing... She's supposed to be packing the house and me explaining to the wife how to clean and pack and you know how not, how a cheetah eats an elephant in small bites and and she's bite in her mind she's biting my head off you know <laughs> anyway yeah there's a lot of fun stuff in here oh be careful my man is shrimp no it's okay you're busy and I wasn't consistent either, Athala. Anyway, this is really all I wanted to do tonight was this this page. But um, I really think I really think that uh, I'm going to start. I think I'm going to start working in the other books and uh, coming back to this. You know, coming coming back to this when I have an idea for what to do in here. So I think you'll see more stuff like this, which is. This is what I did. Ah, that's not what I wanted at all. What happened? Here we go. This was what I did to see if I could do this. And I kind of like this one better. <laughs> it's not as it's not as busy and as cleaner. The downside to me is this is that this looks like the tree goes off the page instead of the shadow on the tree. So I don't, I don't know what I could have done differently. But see, I can do this, and then I can mail this off and give it to somebody. So I may do more of this, and then work in the book when I'm inspired to work in the book. The beauty of spray paint with stencils is that it's reproducible. But there's still no two exactly the same. So, what was I going to do? Well, guys, thank you for joining me, Athalam, uh, Athalam Ali in the chat room, and and uh, anybody else who struggle having trouble getting into the chat room. If you again, I record these live on UStream. If you uh, Monday nights. Uh, Sometime around 6.30 usually. I, I turn the cameras on 6.30 Central Time in the U.S. Turn the cameras on. Uh, record And I record these live. And then, uh, and then I upload them to YouTube. I leave the full live ones up on Ustream for as long as I, as long as Ustream will leave them on there. But then I, I also post them to YouTube. So whichever venue works best for you. You know it's my favorite night of the week. Uh, when I get to art with my besties. I look forward to it every week. And, and it looks like uh, 
I'm I'm going to be able to do it for a while because <laughs> last week again last week was Memorial Day the weekend before the Monday before that was my wife's birthday and honestly tonight was my son's soccer game was my son's last soccer game of the season postponed from Saturday so I shouldn't have been here tonight but it was postponed again because it's been raining all morning and the fields are flooded so uh, I got out of that one but anyway so be sure and tune in next week same artistic biker time if you want to watch it live uh you can tune into the to the ustream you can go to artisticbiker.com slash ustream that's the letter u stream and and you can watch it live there on monday nights uh usually around 6 30 when i turn the cameras on i might turn them on a little earlier but you'll see a, a countdown and hear music playing for those for the sing-along and then uh and then we'll go live and we'll finish it and then I'll post it to YouTube. So, same artistic biker time. So, yeah, and follow Miley. I love it when you run the script. I love it when you run the script. So, be sure and tune in next week. Same artistic biker time, same artistic biker channel. And then we dance. And we dance until somebody says that they. Yeah, I did change my night at Thala. I changed from Thursday night to Monday nights uh, because. Everything always happened. Everybody wanted to practice soccer two nights a week, and they always wanted Tuesdays and Thursdays. Everybody wanted to do stuff on Thursday nights, so I moved it to Monday night. And darned if they didn't start doing stuff on Monday nights instead of Thursday nights. But So, you know, I'm just going to have to pick a night that's good for me, but you can always watch it on YouTube. And I'm only uploading the full-length shows on YouTube anymore. I'm not going to, I'm not going to edit it and die. But anyway, mwah. peace out, y'all. Doesn't mean being frozen like at the end of those airport movies. <laughs> I need like a dog to run behind me or something to show that I'm, I'm only freezing. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not really frozen, I'm just waiting. It's the end of the show.